Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thank you for joining me as always. And I cannot believe that I've got Trina Gallagher, 10 time world champion, on my show. I just cannot believe it. Thank you for joining me today. Pleasure. Pleasure. Really, really appreciate it. So I've got so many questions that I want to ask you, but one of them was, you know, looking back at your career and, and winning everything that you've done, obviously winning your first world title in 2001 and your most recent one in 2016, and I had a look, there's about another 130 titles there. What is the secret to, you know, carry on and motivate you when you've won everything? I've... I don't know really, it's just, uh, I love the game. Yeah. I'm so passionate about the game, yeah. so that's my motivation, I guess. And, uh, but it's, yeah, I just, I just love, and I love the people around it as well, you know. You get to meet so many great people. Yeah, and that's you know, some different people, you, you know, and not just dark players that you, you obviously travel the tour with. Yeah. Uh, but um, spectators and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely. I was really surprised yesterday when I went to the Scottish Open, yeah. I'm been to the video, and players are just, you know, walking about and they just chat to you and just yeah. so oh, down mate. to uh, yeah. And it was just like, oh, and I was like, oh my god, that's me again. That sounds, and it was yeah. crazy, it really was. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's a very um, sociable kind of um, game. Kind of game. It yeah. is. And I know you also hold the um, record for the highest average in the World Dark Championships back from 2006, yeah. 96 point something. Do you think that's something um, that will be there for a long time, or do you think that will be beaten over the next few well, years? I think it will be beaten over the next few years, you know. Hopefully by me. <laughs> <laughs> but, Fantastic. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, no, you know, it's a good, it's a good result, and uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's coming on in leaps and bounds, ladies, and uh, we still need to improve on uh, things with it. Yeah. Um, like, as in. Uh, what the coverage side of it? Do you mean uh, all the everything really? Yeah. Sponsorship, um, the coverage. I mean, you know, we are getting more coverage now. Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of like catch me too because. You need the coverage to get the sponsors. Yeah. You need the sponsors to get the coverage. Yeah. So it's it's catch twenty two. And that's what I was speaking about for like the youngsters that are coming into the game and that now. If they haven't got a sponsorship, to, they need to get to these events, don't they, to get the money. And if they can't get the money, they can't get the points. So, but like I say, it's yeah. good that the streams and that are coming in now online, isn't it? You know, yes. giving loads more coverage. And I know at the Scottish Open um, that was streamed yesterday. That. Yeah. It's good. So the, the more attention we can draw, obviously, it's, it's going to be, it's going to draw sponsors in. Yeah, definitely. So, so but like I say, it's a bit of catch twenty two. But you still love the game as much as you did all them years ago. So how difficult is it actually on the road, Trina? You know, everybody see the, the, the glamour side of the game and on the telly and think that it's it's all glamorous. But I can imagine being away from your family, travelling um, in, in hotels and that. Is it? Is it hard? It can be very lonely. Actually. Yeah. It can be very lonely. It's a, it's a lonely life. And you are, you, you know, when you go, you are looking to travel the world yeah. and do all these tournaments and stuff like that. But it's, it's also, it's a job. Yeah. You don't realise that it is actually a job. A job. You're there to do a job. Yeah. You know, and, and you arrive on a Friday. So it's, it's airport. All you see over that weekend, then, or that, over that week, yeah. is, is the airport. Um, yeah. the hotel and the venue. Yeah, that's it. that is it. You know, you're not going around and sightseeing and that like people think you're very, here, there and everywhere. Very rare that you get that occasion to do that. Is it? Yeah. Really? Very rare. So it's, it's like, that's it. Job, job, job. And then home again, then, the, home then again. to the next one. Washing and ironing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just back to it. Yeah. So how often <laughs> do you practice then? Are you a big practicer of the game or I'm not, not really? I'm not a massive practicer. It all depends really. It all depends on and what attention I feel my game needs. Right. So if I'm struggling, then yes, I'm, I'm, I know I need to put some practice. In. Yeah. But if then, also, if I go to the board and um, I'm not playing very well, yeah. I just walk away because all it does you is know, knock your confidence. It knocks your confidence. There's you're no, just best to no, give up. It's, it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless. I'm never going to play again now, I don't think, because every time I go to the board, I'm useless. <laughs> that is it. I have to give up. No, but it's I, pointless, I love because all it does is knock your confidence. It does, and then, yeah. And then the days that you are playing now, you'll want to play for longer anyway because you're enjoying it. Yeah, it just seems crazy how if you're really good at... I know you all have good days and bad days at anything, but some days you can just flow. Even like... Um, sometimes when I go and have a game with Connor and that, I'll be like 140s and 100s and that. And the next day, it doesn't matter how hard I try, and then I try harder and I'm a 26 and, you know, I'm all yeah. over the place, so... Is he a bit of bully with you? 
Pardon? Is he a bit of a bully with you? No. Connor. <laughs> He's going 140, 140. Just <laughs> well, to be fair, he's amazing when he's on, when he's when he's in the zone. When I'm in the that's zone, your, that's your pocket money then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about when I'm off though, Connie? You might as well say okay, you're on camera. You can be fair, honest. When like, I'm off, you have bad days. Advice. Like when you're not, when you haven't practiced and you're first going on, <laughs> you'll get a five, a five, a one, a yeah. twenty-five, a f- uh, and then like a twenty, a twenty-five, and a five. We all have them. And it just drives me. And I end up trying to go down to nineteen. So then I'm in it. Don't work. I'm up to eighteen. So then I just, oh, I'm all over the place. I just. That's I just the way it goes. Love, I just love it. I love everything about darts. Uh, I love watching it on telly, I love talking about it, it's, I'm just darts mad, I really, really am. So, and the last question I'd like to ask you, for youngsters coming into the game nowadays, what advice would you give them? Uh, well, it's, it's, just, it's just all about dedication and commitment, really. Yeah. You know, you only get out of any sport, anything that you do in life, even a career or whatever, you only get out of what you put in. Yeah. You can't be bothered, you're not going to get yeah, anything yeah, out of it. You're not going to do anything. Do you so. think well, you need a lucky break being a youngster as well? Like, coming yeah, in, you do. Good. do you need to be in the right place at the right time and somebody see you? That's always, that's always a good thing, you know, but uh, it's, hard, it's hard, hard work. And it's like, um, I don't know whether you, you, have you read my book? I haven't, no, I must be honest, but I am going and I was looking at it today. Right, okay. Well, well in there, it's like when I was trying to get sponsorship for myself, yeah. going way back. You know, I would write hundreds and hundreds of letters right. to different companies, and I was, I was forever at the computer to just writing these things. But it's not about, it's not just about writing a letter. It's about writing, finding the right person to yes. write to within that company. Yes. Otherwise, it just gets thin. Yeah, because like I say, it's a, they say sometimes you can get it, it's, it if it gets to the right just, person. Yes. It don't very often yeah. get to them, does but also, it? Also, also a lot of a lot of companies as well, a lot of large companies. Do not tend to sponsor individuals. They will sponsor teams, right? Okay. But not individuals. So, yeah. So that's. So they'll do a football. They'll do a football team where it's got on loads of different shirts, yeah. but an individual way yeah. they won't do so, it. Because so, they're looking at more advertisers. Yeah. And they're all they wearing it. Well, listen, Trina, thank you. So, I still can't believe that you've been on my show. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so, so much. Um, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it today. If you do like my videos, please leave a like. Don't forget to turn your notifications on and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, that's it. Bye.